Arkansas Pharmacy needs your help. We are at a crossroads with pharmacy in Arkansas right now. We need everyone to call their state senator and ask them to vote in support of Senate Bill 520. It is a bill that addresses transparency in how pharmacies are paid. The, the issue right now is that PBMs, basically the middleman between the pharmacy and the insurance company, are charging some fees that are new. They are astronomical and they're collected weeks to months after the fact. So let's say you go to a pharmacy and you purchase a medication from the pharmacy. The pharmacy bills your insurance, which they do through a PBM or pharmacy benefits manager. The pharmacy, let's say they paid $700 to get the drug into the pharmacy. They are reimbursed by the PBM a total of $720. So they apparently have made $20 on a prescription, which covers the cost of filling the prescription labor um, in order to do that. There's fees associated with tra transmitting the prescription to your insurance company, and that helps to cover the cost of those fees. The problem is, is that weeks to months later, the insurance or the PBM, I'm sorry, comes back and collects a fee from the pharmacy. And that fee in this particular instance um, was $605. So the total, remember the total pharmacy was paid was $720. They paid $700 for the drug and now the PBM months later has come back and collected a $605 fee. So the pharmacy has been reimbursed a total of $115 for a medication they paid $700 to get into the store. So that's a loss of $585 on one single prescription. And if you multiply that by the number of prescriptions that a pharmacy does in a day, that figure becomes astronomical very quickly. It can be thousands of dollars a day or hundreds of thousands of dollars, even just over the first couple months of the year or two and a half months into the year and, and already looking at just astonishing numbers. It, pharmacy needs help. Um, pharmacy needs this bill to provide transparency in how they are paid. And so these fees will not be allowed on a retroactive basis or on a collective basis for over a multitude of claims. Right now, what they're doing is charging that fee based on a multitude of claims, but it's pulling back and hurting pharmacies. Um, and it's not just the little pharmacies, it's the big guys too. Any pharmacy that is not owned by a PBM, such as CVS Caremark, is hurting from this. You may have gone into your favorite big box store or chain store and noticed that there are fewer people behind that pharmacy counter than there were six months ago. It's taking longer to get your prescription than it was six months ago. And that is because in response to these things, the pharmacies are cutting their, cutting their staffing and it's hurting everyone. And imagine a rural state like Arkansas, many small cities don't have these chain stores. They are serviced only by independent pharmacies. And if that independent pharmacy closes because of this, you're looking at having to drive 45 minutes to the closest chain store. It really hurts the options for patients in Arkansas. Everyone needs to call, get on the phone and call their state senator. You can go to arkansas.gov and they have a senator search feature on their website where you can find the senator for your address. Contact your senator tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is March 27th and we are asking you to call your senators and let them know how important this Senate Bill 520 is. We ask them to vote in support of Senate Bill 520. And if you have questions, ask your pharmacist. They can, they can help direct you or help clarify things for you if you need answers to questions. Um, they'd be more than happy to do that. But we, we need your support of Senate Bill 520 to get this transparency for the state of Arkansas.